Polestar's new electric SUV turns up the intensity with 517 horsepower and a torque vectoring rear axle. The first winter with a driver's license is a rite of passage for car enthusiasts raised where it snows. When fresh powder falls, empty parking lots and abandoned industrial parks across the snow belt turn into perfect performance driving training grounds. Breaking a car's tires loose on snow slicked pavement is a great way to learn the fundamentals of car control at relatively safe, low speeds. The 2024 Polestar 3 followed a similar path to mastering driving dynamics. The luxury electric SUV spent the winters of its formative years on frozen lakes and snow packed proving grounds in the Arctic Circle, where engineers taught it to neatly tuck its nose into corners under braking and gracefully rotate its tail under power. The 3, which arrives in May at a starting price of $85,300, is a big deal for Little Polestar. Along with the smaller Polestar 4 SUV Coupe, this five-passenger midsizer will grow the brand's lineup from one to three vehicles and, if buyers take notice, deliver a much-needed sales boost. Success would also mean making the Polestar name more widely known and synonymous with performance. The top trim's 517 horsepower should help with that. The Polestar 3's DNA winter in York Mork, Sweden, where Polestar conducts cold weather testing, can be brutal. In the depths of December, the sun rises for just two hours a day and temperatures can fall well below freezing. Joachim Ryan, Polestar's head of chassis development, explains why he, his colleagues, and their cars have to endure such harsh conditions, if it works in minus 30 degrees, Celsius, it works everywhere. If we have a problem with squeaks or rattles, we easily find it at minus 30 degrees. Aiming high. Polestar engineers cite the Porsche Cayenne as the dynamic benchmark for the three. They also brag that the big 111.0 kWh battery beneath the floor gives the three the same low center of gravity as the discontinued Polestar 1 plug-in hybrid coupe. Based on the way the three corners, with minimal roll and obedient responses to trail braking and power oversteer, they're not blowing smoke. Ride the Polestar. You might think a frozen lake would be as smooth as a hockey rink, but even three foot thick ice heaves and cracks throughout the winter, and the circuits are groomed into a coarse corduroy. The result is a wavy and noisy surface that tests the suspension just as much as the steering and the studded winter tires. In the standard and nimble suspension modes, the three's rear end floats more than a KN's, but that cushy compliance is one of the reasons the Polestar's tires break away so progressively and predictably. The car is playfully neutral without being threatening or difficult to drive. On ice, at least, there's a level of driver engagement that's missing from too many modern performance vehicles. The rest of the package. The Polestar 3 is the first vehicle built from Volvo's SPA2 architecture, sharing its basic structure, its motors, cattle-supplied batteries, and its cosseting seat frames with the Volvo EX90. All that appears to make for a solid foundation. We do wish that Polestar designers would put more distance between their cars and Volvos when it comes to exterior styling. While the three's sheet metal is unique, there's too much familial resemblance in elements like the headlights and faux grille. The designers have done their best work on the inside, imitating Tesla's minimalist aesthetic without making it feel cheap. Because even a Geo Metro is fun on ice, we'll wait to drive a Polestar 3 on paved roads before we pass full judgment on it. Our early exposure, though, suggests that this new, Larger SUV will be sportier and more engaging than the automaker's sole model on sale right now, the Polestar 2. As the next step in establishing Polestar as a serious luxury performance brand, it could be exactly what the company needs.